hey guys <clears throat> welcome back to my youtube video channel again today i will walk you through this uh, particular eye veneer case which i'm not saying that i have done great job i'm saying that i have problem with it and i want to teach you and share with you that things that i have make mistake and things that i hope that i can be improved better if you are about to do eye veneer i want you to check this out and learn about my mistake thank you for watching hey guys so let's jump right in this case as you can see tube number eight need the eye veneer case my goal is to not remove everything that uh, the patient have previously what she have is actually the whole entire uh, half of the tooth uh, composite and also the whole entire lingual side with composite that the, the dentist did that for him many many years and he told me that he doesn't want me to remove everything just do minimally and basic so I said all right sure we'll try our best to not remove everything like a crown so my goal is go and ahead and just remove all the stain that he has which I did and I also create a, a nice uh, uh, contact so I can try this on for him. Now, um, one thing, uh, it, this picture kind of quick go through, but you can see the dart line right there. I didn't remove it. I wish I had removed that dart line. Yeah, so that is my problem. That is my main problem. Of, I didn't turn, make this K completely turn out perfect because of the black line, the uh, connection between the old filling and the tooth structure. I wish I removed that black line completely. It could, would have been uh, a big difference. So after we do uh, the injection into the template, we clean everything like I see a show here. And uh, before you hit the light, make sure that you remove the lingo part, the accessory material the lingo part and uh, this is how you take it out it look gorgeous right but if you look carefully you're gonna see some a little bit of stain internally of the veneer and that make the k wasn't perfect and i was kind of disappointed patient uh, i polish i do all kind of things but the more i polish the thinner the gum uh, the um, composite ven composite veneer the more it showed the, the black line there. So uh, this result is not an excellent result. You know, you only have an hour to work with uh, or less uh, if you have like this is a turnaround case. Uh, so you guys need to um, spend enough time and also make sure you remove all the stain. Very important, all the stain. That's how you can get the better result. I really, really uh, make a mistake and I just want to show you and for your future case, I veneer, uh, because very thin layer, that's why you gotta remove anything that you think potentially is gonna appear on your new veneer. You gotta remove them. Okay guys, thank you for watching and hope you really, that's helped you a little tip here and there to improve your uh, outcome for your next I veneer case. Thanks again guys for watching and contribute to uh, my uh, subscription my uh, uh, channel, your thought, your question, your comment, your encouragement, all very helpful. Thank you again, guys. I hope you like it. See you next video. Bye-bye.